Hi guys, this is a quick update on my Immersive HUD mod. Um, recently there's been a patch and the Script Dragon mod is no longer working for that patch and until the author updates it, if he updates it, uh, the toggle functionality and the on weapon functionality don't work as you've probably realized. One thing that is unfortunate is if you have a save game where you had the compass toggled off and you now go back into that game you won't have your compass and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, basically now that uh, until Script Dragon updates you're basically going to have to deactivate Immersive Hood and then reactivate it and when you reactivate it pick different options so don't pick the toggle and don't pick the on weapon. So I'm just going to pick what I like to have and hit install. And so now it's set up to not use the toggle functionality. Um, but of course, because I was using toggle before, it may well have removed my compass permanently. So here's what you do you go along to your documents. My games, Skyrim, skyrimprefs.ini. Open that for editing. Control F to find, and you're looking for just type in compass. Find next, and then close this. And you'll see B show compass equal, and it should equal one. As you can see, I fixed this. If yours says equal zero, change it to one. Hit save and close it. And that should actually fix it completely. Now, if you don't want to do the whole installation process again, of course, if you're, if you're okay with editing a file, you can go to your data folder, interface, and go to the iHUD config. And where it said toggle here, you just change it to reactive and change these values as you wish. Um, that's completely up to you how you do this. But that's it. That should now have your compass back. Now, this mod, obviously, I would like to get it so that it doesn't need script dragon eventually because um, it's it's kind of unfortunate that it needs two third-party plugins so as soon as we get some more advanced f functionality in SKSE that is probably what is going to happen and as you all know SKSE tends to update within hours of a patch so hopefully there'll be a little less downtime on this mod now some people have asked me whether I can actually make iHUD completely independent of third-party uh, programs and the answer is no I'm afraid. The Basically the Papyrus scripting engine does not detect key presses and it also does not interact with the user interface so I'm sorry I'm afraid we're, it, this mod is always going to be SKSE dependent. But I hope that helped and I'll see you guys soon.